We are going to create an application profile using Eclipse and in this application profile we are going to use elements from Dublin Core Terms, BRA Core 4, Mods and CWA Light Schemas. But before we get to it, let me show you my validation settings so that you wouldn't run into any validation issues when you try to validate uh, your schema, your application profile schema. Go to Window, Preferences, go to XML and XML schema files here are my settings my validation is going to check for schema conformance and editors so let's just like this and let's check XML files validation it's going to process all XML inclusions it's going to generate warnings when there are any kind of issues with root element or grammar and markup validation is uh, enabled One more thing I would like to show you is in XML schema files editor, make sure you uncheck this automatically remove unused XST or schema imports or namespace entities. Sometimes you may include uh, the other namespaces, uh, like when you try to add an element from another uh, uh, schema but after importing it, sometimes Eclipse removes it before you add a new element so it's better to uncheck this option so that you wouldn't run into any issues okay let's move on uh, first we need to create an XML schema go new uh, other and XML schema file and I will call this one as a profile okay then I save it in my uh, workspace and again this is in my own namespace at this time uh, let's go to design view first uh, we need to include those schemas in our uh, application profile schema basically to be able to include them we need to import because we're going to use a few elements from these different schemas and do a right click on the directives area at import which is different than the include because when you say include meaning that you're basically taking everything from the schema and uh, you have to use its namespace but when you use import basically you have flexibility to choose and uh, use whatever element that you would like so we're going to stick with import option at import and we're going to use http next basically you may want to uh, get a list of uh, uris for those schema locations for Dublin Core Terms, here is the schema location. I'm going to copy and paste it here. Finish. Takes a few seconds process. Then do another right click and add, add import, and I'm going to add my other schema, this time CWA Light. Another import. So let's get mods. And lastly, VRA Core 4. Basically, when we point to these schema locations, it, it imports the whole structure so that we can actually choose the elements that we want. Then, uh, and one thing that you may want to pay attention to is uh, when it's importing, it doesn't like the HTTPS extension. So you just simply remove the S from HTTPS and you should be good to go. Okay. As you may recall from our uh, earlier exercises, we need to start with a root element. So go to element area, do a right click, add element and let's call it metadata and right click set type new let's call it metadata type okay now we have our root element ready basically now I can add all the elements that I identified from these different schemas double click on the metadata type Somehow, somehow stuck, but something you can go source and design view, and it should go 
that's one, okay. And metadata type. So we are going to add element by reference. So we are going to add element reference. Basically, uh, these are not brand new elements. We'll be reusing existing elements. So we are going to select add element reference. When you do that, it automatically adds the abstract element because it lists all the elements from these different schemas in an alphabetical order. And this is the first one. But we don't need abstract element. What we need to do, we want to use, let's say, title element. And as you may recall, Dublin Core terms include all the elements in Dublin Core Simple. So that's why I decided not to use Dublin Core Simple. But if you choose, uh, decide to use Dublin Core Simple as another schema here, that would be fine. Uh, since it, it's already included in Dublin Core terms, I decided to stick with Dublin Core terms. So simply, when you click the abstract, you're going to see this little uh, arrow and click on it and browse. So my elements are going to be title audience and language from Dublin Core Terms, agent from VRA, access condition from mods, and inscription from uh, CWA Lite. Again, this is just a proof of concept uh, application profile. Simply, you're going to choose the element that you want. Let's start with the title. So you can easily search for title, and you can see all of these elements from uh, title elements from these different schemas. So we have title element in VRA, mods and CWA light, but I decided to use the one from Dublin Core Terms. Click OK. And we're going to continue to right click at another element reference. Again, it shows abstract. Click on it, browse. And next one is uh, audience. And here we go. And when you click, you can either see the namespace. This is from Dublin Core Terms, so this one way to verify. Good. And let's add another element. And this time, let's add uh, mod access condition. Here we go. And add another element. This time we are going to add uh, inscription from CWA Lite. Let's type inscription. And one thing that you may want to verify here is you know which inscription element to get. You see this is from VRA, this is from CWA Lite, this is inscriptions, inscription set, inscriptions wrap, and inscription method instructional method so you may recall from this uh, VRA CWA light these are uh, hierarchical schemas and they have these wrapper elements right so they act like as a parent element so you need to get the parent element when you get the parent element you will automatically get all the ch uh, child elements so you may want to make sure uh, consult with the schema so let's if you look at the CWA light and for the ins uh, inscriptions element, again, you need to get the inscriptions wrap. This is the one uh, that you want to get, and it's going to have the inscriptions as a uh, child element. So let's go back here, and I'm going to get inscriptions wrap. And let's get uh, a VRA agent. Element reference. Okay, oh. Get to mistake let's get rid of the one okay browse and agent same thing again you want to get the agent or agent set you can quickly double check with the standard and agent if you look at the example here and you should start with agent set this is your uh, parent element and it will automatically include all of these uh, sub elements so we're going to get the agent set again this is VRA core 4 this is its namespace good and we can get language element too let's get language element from uh, Dublin core terms okay if you double click uh, okay let's bring mine Eclipse is acting up a little bit so when you double click actually you should see all the uh, uh, 
attributes uh, options and other things that are available in this schema so just save our schema and this is our application profile and let's validate it it is valid now the next step is to create our uh, instance document out of this application profile 